purposes of this discussion is we started off this morning thinking about innovation and ways in which any of various ways that communes to both leverage access to engineers, uh, access to showcasing the region, and of course none of this, I mean, no, but what we can do as a, as a school is uh, partner and facilitate and make these projects happen at fairly modest price points using our students and using, you know, using this as an educational opportunity. Uh, we're really grateful for, for Jeb and, and Don and, and Laura and the Walmart Foundation to, I mean, to get this to happen, you gotta have students. To have students work on these things, you gotta get scholarships to pay students. And all of this, all of this has to, has to come together. And you also need people who are patient enough to explain the problem to us. And I think this is a great place where we've showcased it, uh, sort of touching on, on Herb's question, you know, there are many more counties than Howard County. And what we're looking for is going to every county and potentially deploying this tool to really allow the local economic development official to be in the middle. This is purely a facilitating tool. It doesn't automate the process because there's a lot of judgment involved, but it makes it a lot easier to extract information at a very fine-grained level of detail with two looks. The private look, which allows you to talk with people at a more confidential level, and the public look. And so that's the process we've evolved. The details of data that's collected at the level of the firm are actually very, very extensive. And it's whatever the firm wants to share. And in other words, it's, it's set up in such a way that the firm is really continues to remain in charge of their data. And there is a process for them to edit or change it at any point. If they want to take information out, put it in, add new capabilities, etc. Now, what we'd love to see, I mean, if, if you, you know, if we dream, we'd love all of the counties to basically say, come on, build this for us. And we say, yeah, we have the students, we have the thing. You know, I hate each other. Well, you know, on the other hand, <laughs> what, yeah, no, no. what I think is potentially going to happen is we might be able to find complementary ways that leaders could start cooperating. Mm -hmm. A little bit of competition is good. It's good amongst faculty and everything else. But also, there's a, there's a way in which people might find complementary skills which would allow business to be attracted to the state rather than going somewhere else.